Okay, this file is what's the name? What's the name? Constant dot Swift, right? So this file um, consists of the the way we are going to get the data from the Open Weather Map through the link, right? And you see this is API Open Weather Map slash weather Q equal Q equal allows you to get the data using CD name. But for us, we don't want to query the data using CD name. We want to get it using uh, the latitude and longitude, right? So I'm at current weather data. I click API and click current weather data. So you're going to see this is how to query by CD name. But we want lat and long. Right? This is the way to query by geographic coordinates. And this is the link and this is the example of API call. Just trying to open it. Yeah, invalid key. We need to get the key. So I'm going to sign in now to get my key. I already signed in so I can get the key. Easily put it up there. Good. Right? Seems like the key works. And this is the way uh the url works so i just copy url for latitude and longitude and try to put it here okay so instead of q equal i actually don't need q equal anymore okay so for base url and forecast url both of them i don't need q equal anymore i don't need cd anymore right uh, we can actually delete cd Bang, and it will throw you over for sure. Okay, we need let equal to some number, long equal to some number. So after the base URL, you're gonna put let equal, right? And rather than CD, we're gonna pull the data from location class location dot share instant dot latitude. And we are sure that the, there is this data, so we put exclamation. After that, we have to put our percent and lawn. Our percent lawn equal to same thing. Let me copy. I'm going to change this one to longitude. Longitude exclamation. Okay. And yes, we have to change it in the city as well. This is let long delete the city, copy the whole thing from the web current weather URL, paste it. Okay, the error should be gone. I mean, these two lines, and we don't need this line anymore. Good. Ah, let's build first. I click product and build. No error. Ah, let's run. Oh, so I should have click run. Let's draw you a ra 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 a ra. Yes, that is a ra. What why is a ra? Okay, okay. Why that is a ra? The errors say that there is no data inside location class, which means there is no data from. Uh, there is no current location when it's trying to get the data. Oh, this data is now. This variable is now, so it cannot it cannot goes to open with the map and get the data. Why is like that? Okay, so let's take a look. Whenever view did load, we get current location. No, no, we set up location manager. And we get current weather right away after the location manager has been set up. However, whenever the view did load, we get current location. And this is when we add the current location into our location class. Which means when you go to download detail inside the current weather and try to get current weather url there is no current location data just yet but you was trying to you were trying to get the data without current location that's why it throw you the error so how do we fix it let's cut it off i mean i am in weather vc cut this and we're gonna call it when we have got the current 
excuse me when we've got the current location data I, I want I don't want to print it anymore okay so the flow is when the view did load setting up the location manager when the view did appear get the data from the current location when the data has been uh, pulled out so you download the current weather information then download forecast information then update UI ah let's see and I would like to tell you that that latitude and longitude is in San Francisco I'm praying now yeah this is San Francisco data and it is raining right now the maximum uh, temperature of San Francisco next to sorry tomorrow is going to be 10 Celsius the minimum is going to be 6 okay ah what if I would like to try for the Bangkok I think the easiest way is to go to maps.google.com to get the latitude and longitude this is what I'm trying to do webgl oh, yeah. what is this um, I'm gonna search for I don't know where would you like to go IDO like proud 5 okay uh, and this is the um, latitude this is longitude so I'm gonna open up the simulator go to debug location custom location I change latitude to my latitude and I'm gonna change longitude to my longitude now bang bang okay okay and run again I'm praying that it should be shown this information as Bangkok information Alaiwa. <laughs> okay it doesn't seem correct for me that it's still showing up San Francisco information let me share custom location again hmm I have changed custom location why it doesn't pull out custom location okay I will figure it out why and we'll show you in the next session